Ever wondered which cities are considered the most dangerous in the world in 2023? As we traverse this vast globe, our sense of adventure is often tempered by a need for safety. The world can be a wild and unpredictable place and certain corners of it unfortunately pose more risks than others. Today we embark on a journey, not of the most picturesque landscapes or the most vibrant cultures, but of the most dangerous cities in the world, as of 2023. To compile this list we've turned to an array of sources and reports, taking into consideration various factors that contribute to a city's danger level. These include, but are not limited to, crime rates, political instability, civil unrest and overall safety conditions. Crime rates can be a significant indicator of a city's safety. A high crime rate can signify a lack of law enforcement effectiveness and a high level of social unrest. Political instability, on the other hand, can create an environment conducive to crimes of all sorts, making life for locals and travelers alike quite precarious. Civil unrest, often a byproduct of political instability and social disparity, can turn a city into a danger zone overnight. Protests, strikes, and riots can disrupt daily life and pose risks to personal safety. Lastly, overall safety conditions encapsulate factors like the quality of infrastructure, access to health care, and the prevalence of natural disasters. This countdown isn't aimed to discourage or scare you, but rather to inform and prepare you. Traveling is about embracing the unknown, but it's also about being aware and making informed decisions. So without further ado, let's dive into the countdown, starting with number 10. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the city of Khartoum, the capital of Sudan. Khartoum is a city that's been grappling with political instability for quite some time now. The city's safety levels have been compromised due to civil unrest, leading to a high danger rating. As we move down the list in ninth place, we find ourselves in the Central African Republic. The city in focus here is the capital, Bangui. The city is known for its volatile security situation, primarily due to persistent conflict and sporadic violence. The instability has made Bangui a precarious place for both residents and visitors alike. Coming in at number 8, we have Port-au-Prince, the capital city of Haiti. The city has been dealing with a surge in crime, particularly in the form of kidnappings for ransom, making it a particularly dangerous place. The city's law enforcement struggles to curb the rising crime rates, which only adds to the city's high danger quotient. But remember, these cities, while currently facing significant challenges, are not without their own unique culture, history and charm. They are home to millions of people who, amidst adversity, continue to strive for a better future. It's crucial to bear in mind that cities, like people, have their ups and downs, and the hope is always for conditions to improve, for safety to be restored, and for peace to prevail. Moving on, the danger levels only increase as we reach our next set of cities. You might be surprised by the cities that made it to our middle spots. Our seventh slot goes to the city of Port-au-Prince, the vibrant capital of Haiti. Despite its natural beauty and rich culture, the city faces significant safety challenges. Political instability, civil unrest and widespread poverty have fueled a surge in crime rates. The city's struggle to rebuild after the devastating 2010 earthquake has further compounded these issues. Moving on to the sixth position, we find ourselves in Chad's capital, N'Djamena. This city is marked by an unfortunate blend of poverty, corruption, and a lack of basic services. The presence of militant groups and the threat of terrorism further contribute to the city's reputation as a high-risk destination. Despite these challenges, the people of Nedjamena display incredible resilience and a spirit that refuses to be dampened. And now, for number five on our list, Khartoum, the capital of Sudan. As the third largest city in the Arab world, Khartoum has a rich history and a vibrant culture. However, it also suffers from ongoing political unrest, civil war, and economic instability. These factors have led to a rise in crime and violence, making it a precarious place for residents and visitors alike. Each of these cities, while grappling with their own unique challenges, share common threads, political instability, economic hardship, and social unrest. These issues, intertwined and complex, contribute to the high levels of danger faced by those living in or visiting these cities. As we edge closer to the top spot, the suspense builds. Which cities could be more dangerous than these? Now we're getting to the truly perilous places. At number four, we find ourselves in the heart of the Middle East in war-torn Syria. This city is fraught with civil unrest and political instability, making it a highly dangerous place for residents and visitors alike. Moving on to our third spot, we travel to the Central African Republic. 
This city is not just battling political instability but also faces severe threats from crime and terrorism. The daily life here is a testament to human resilience in the face of adversity. Now hold your breath as we reveal the second most dangerous city of 2023. Welcome to Yemen, a city where civil unrest is the order of the day. Living here is a gamble where peace is a rare commodity and safety, a distant dream. Before we unveil the most dangerous city of 2023, let's take a quick recap of the cities we have covered so far. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The most dangerous city in the world in 2023 is Khartoum. This city, unfortunately, tops the list due to a myriad of concerns, including extreme political instability, civil unrest, high crime rates, and a pervasive threat of terrorism. It's a stark reminder that not every corner of our world is a safe haven. Now let's take a quick journey back through our countdown. Starting from Brazzaville, Libya, and Burkina Faso, each with their unique challenges and threats. Then we journey to Syria, Chad, and Port-au-Prince, cities grappling with the aftermath of war, political turmoil, and natural disasters. And then we took a look at Yemen and the Central African Republic, where civil strife and humanitarian crises have unfortunately become the norm. Life in these cities can be tough, but it's important to remember that behind these issues are resilient communities, individuals, and cultures that continue to fight for a better tomorrow. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, knowledge is the first step towards safety. Until next time, this is Buckeye Travel, signing off. Thanks for watching.